Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all glory, all honor, and all praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Wa, Rechak, Wadash, giving all glory, all honor, and all praises unto the Most High Heavenly Father for this very moment. I want to say Barak thumb to all of those who are being diligent inside this truth, starting from the elders on down to the youth, those who are doing the best that they can when it comes down to keeping the commandments of the Most High Heavenly Fathers, as well as carrying on the faith of the Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who is the Malak, and as always make it known, hey, it's all about the kingdom. So, um, Shalom to everybody that's on there, man. And um, <clears throat> for the Akim and who's um, listening to me at this very moment, you know what I'm saying? This is a public announcement. You know, I want to make this known to this Ak, hey man, the water for your video, man. I know you said the water to me on this video. You see, it's in his title, thank you, Akwar. You know what I'm saying? He said, This is uh, this that celestial slash elect talk. And, uh, you know, ultimately and overall, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm truly grateful, you know, um, being able to uh, be where I'm at in this truth. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, overall, there is some mighty brothers that are out here through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, who's uh, really moving in what is connected to the new covenant. You know what I'm saying? And um, out of humility and even myself, you know, um, I'm, I, I, I can stand uh, uh, guilty. And I could get, I could stand to be cut, you know, uh, at the very moment. But it's beautiful because I receive this with a joy and a gladness. Because even though this picture that I got, like you can see, as I made a comment on it, with the water art, and then you know the dove, as far as the Holy Spirit, you know, representing the Spirit. You know what I'm saying, and it's saying graven images is against you. How about some Yahweh Shah? You know what I'm saying, and uh, that's the truth, man. You know, and um, what this brother is um, is saying on this video, and I'm gonna have a link in the description box um, below. You know what I'm saying? Um, yo, um, you gotta. I mean, put it like this: if, if, if a brother um, see this video and listen, you know, from a carnal uh, perspective, they are not gonna be able to receive what's being said. Like I'm making this known. You know what I'm saying? I'm the first. Making this known as in like, listen, the image that I got, though it's not Yahweh Shai, but the image alone can be in place of, uh, of me not consciously being aware of exalting myself. Because, you know, when I first saw this uh, this image right here, I said, oh, shoot, I got, I didn't realize, like, I got the same, uh, you know, garment as, as in what is in this picture. Even though I had my garment already first, but when I put the picture up, because I seen the laser beam shooting out the eyes and all that. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, being amazed by it, you know, because to me in my mind, I'm looking at it like I do truly believe in that spiritual power. You see what I'm saying? And I do believe that we have that spiritual power right now. Like we have that spiritual power. You see what I'm saying? Um, There's levels to this through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimi Shah. But I've learned as time goes on is really primarily through the faith. You see what I'm saying? It's through that faith. So, you know, ultimately in this video, the brother was speaking, you know what I'm saying? I know he said uh, Maccabees, you know, um, and, and don't get me wrong, I love Maccabees too, you know what I'm saying? And all the uh, rest of the uh, Akim, you know what I'm saying? Akim, that's, that's doing the pushing and, and doing the works. But he said something in this video, you know what I'm saying? He even shared his uh, his testimony. And he said something on this that if you, if you are humble enough to receive it, you know what I'm saying? You'll receive it with a gladness, man. And here it is, you know, overall, you know, how I always have it, you know what I'm saying? Let us stand for truth. And me, myself, even though this picture I have on my on, on my page is not um, Yahweh Shah at all. And I know it's not Yahweh Shah. But just the fact that I had it and it wasn't supposed to be promoting like, oh, Yahweh Shah just to be promoting. Yo, we got that spiritual power coming. You see what I'm saying? But overall, I'm going to change it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to change that picture. You know, I'm going to be the first one. To make it known to the Akya to change that picture. I'm going to change the picture, yo. All right? I'm changing this picture that's here on the side, you know? And every other picture, you know what I'm saying, that's of, you know, of me. You know what I'm saying? This is just, just me that's going to do it. Because by the spirit, you know what I'm saying, I receive what the brother is speaking about. I'm receiving it. You see what I'm saying? To, to the rest of the brothers, 
You know what I mean? It's up to y'all and what y'all want to do. But me, I'm changing the picture. Now, to others, they may see like, well, that's a small thing. Well, to me, you know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to bring out some scriptures. Hold on. I'm going to bring a scripture out. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Here, here's one. All right. Uh, matter of fact, not that one. Let me see. All right. There you go. Matthew chapter 5. All right. In verse um, 6, it says, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they should be filled. All right. He's saying, Blessed are they which do hunger and, and thirst after righteousness, for they should be filled. Now, you can be filled up with the spirit, right? And you may want this, you may want to be increased in the spirit, but not out, but not out of self-examination, examining where your heart stands at and things. You see what I'm saying? And I always have it. It, it, it if it uh if the word is being applied, we can't let it fly. You see what I'm saying? Or if it, if it ain't if the if the word basically long story short if it ain't if it ain't about the word and, and bettering ourselves through kingdom principles you know what I'm saying for the glory of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh then all of that you know what I'm saying that's outside of kingdom it doesn't matter because the scriptures say blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled now I want you to see this too and I'm gonna go down because this is that elect talk right here. Inside Matthew chapter 5 and verse um, 19, when he say, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, come on, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. And watch this, verse 20. For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. Ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Now, it's giving you three different levels. Those who are going to be great in the kingdom. Those who are going to be the least in the kingdom. And those who ain't going to make it in the kingdom. But for the ones that are in the kingdom. Blessed are they that which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall be filled. The ones that are being great in the kingdom are filled. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're filled with the spirit of the Lord. Not saying that the spirit of the Lord is not working with those who are the least in the kingdom. But what, what, what we are in this truth for? Are we in the truth to become the least? Or are we in this truth to become the greatest? So it takes humility. And it takes, is it right? And it takes you know what, am, you know, am I going to humble myself and apply this change? You see what I'm saying? And it's not just for ministry sake. It's not just for kingdom sake, but it's for Yahweh Bashimi Awashah's name sake. You see what I'm saying? And doing the best that we can in living out his righteousness. Where we are counted as being blameless in the eyes of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't want the flesh to be as a crutch in this walk, especially by us ministering this new covenant, because it's much deeper as time goes on. All right. And I'm trying to tell you, it's, it, it gets deeper than just about the house of Saul and the house of David, because all of this is just reflecting what we got do, going on within self. You see what I'm saying? That flesh represents the house of Saul and the inward man represents what is of the house of David. That's why the Lord is establishing his kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Through the house of David. You see what I'm saying? And not the house of Saul. So we can't take any understanding that will be of the house of Saul or what is of the flesh to try to uh, have it to blend in and what the Lord is trying to do when it comes down to purging that leaven out of our souls. Because our objective is to mortify the deeds of the flesh and kill it daily. You know what I'm saying? To kill it daily. So I want um, brothers to see that, man, blessed are they which do hunger and thirst at the righteousness, for they shall be filled. All right. Now going on here, Exodus 20 and verse 4. And this is law. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything 
that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. But the key point is the graven image. Okay. In the, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. And why do I state that? Because remember in the book of Acts. All right. In the book of Acts. Uh, chapter 7. All right. Um, let me see. Let's down a little further. Acts chapter 7. All right, in verse, uh, and this is when Stephen, right after Stephen was making it known to uh, known unto them how they are stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears, and they do resist the Holy Ghost, you know what I'm saying, as the fathers did, all right, meaning they were carnal in their ways, okay, let me see, okay, and they got cut to the heart when the truth was being revealed. Unto them. They didn't want to receive it with a gladness and give you how about me? I was shouting glory. But look at this, verse 55. But he being full of the Holy Ghost, see, blessed are those that thirst and hunger after righteousness, for they shall be filled. See? But he being full of the Holy Ghost looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of Yahweh. And Yahweh Shah standing on the right hand of Yahweh. You see, by the Spirit. He was being, he, what was being revealed to him was the glory of the father and him seeing Yahweh Shah. You see? And, and he said, behold, I see the heavens open and the son of man standing on the right hand of Yahweh. Meaning the son of man standing on the right hand of power, man. You see? And that made them upset and angry. Why? Because they were led by the flesh. Now, most brothers may take it at this moment about the images and stuff and take it in a way as in like, yo, man, that's just, you know, that's just something small. We know we ain't, they ain't the image of Yahweh Shah, but it's this and that and the third. But it's just like, you know, overall, to me, I, I'm like, I'm going to make a stand on my end and be like, I, 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 I'm I, not going to uh, carry myself on with it. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to humble myself. I had myself not to carry myself on with it because in Exodus chapter 20 in, in verse four, you see what I'm saying? And, and you know, and, and overall, that's why I said is 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 levels to this because this new covenant thing that's being put out, always been out. It's just that the Lord see fit to it right now. And he's helping Akim and Agwathium to purge that leaven out of their souls so that they can be able to better cleave unto what the spirit is trying to bring forth even more. Because you got those who are the house, who are in the house of David, they're looking for a reason to uh, raise accusations up against us. So we want to be blameless in their eyes. You see what I'm saying? Because you got those who are of the house of David, who are still under the bondages and the strongholds of the house of Saul. And they're back and forth with things because in their mind, that's all they knew was elders and deacons and all of these other titles and those who are in a position of uh, proclaiming preeminence over them. And we want them to be um, um, led by the Rakak Wadash. We want them to be under the rulership of Yahweh Shah through the Rakak Wadash, where they don't see just, uh, they don't see titles. They see, you know what I'm saying, brothers and sisters. You see what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Paul did have order in, in the churches, but you got to see it through the spirit. Because where it has been put out mainstream, and, and, you know what I'm saying, throughout um, media and, and everywhere else, has been made known in the, in the natural, which gave leeway to the house of Saul to do what they wanted to do in order to have a come up through the word of Yahweh Shah and proclaiming preeminence over the hearts of those who come from broken places. You see? All right. Let me go on this. Watch this. Mark chapter 12 and verse 28. And one of the scribes came and having heard them reasoning together. And perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, which is the first commandment of all? And Yahweh Shah answered him, right? The first of all the commandments is, hear, O Israel. And the word hear in Hebrew, Shema, 
O Israel, talking about Yasharela, meaning he's speaking unto the princes of power because the laws are in their hearts, in their inward parts, meaning the new covenant is, uh, is for the princes of power, okay, because they are sitting on the shoulders of Yahweh Shah. Now, is it saying they're literally on his shoulders? Okay. No, it's just saying that and where they stand at next to the head, man. Okay. How you know what I'm saying? And there's other attributes as well, and where that stands at and being symbolic to help us to gain a better perspective on where we stand at with Yahweh Shah. All right. But look at this. Here, O Israel, okay, the Lord, our God, is one. There's a reason why I say our God is one, because we are a part of that body. The elect, talking about those who are of the house of David, are a part, a part of the body of Hamashiach. And Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, is a, the body of Yahweh. All right? That's why he said the Lord, our God, that's possessive, is one, meaning the Lord, our power, is one Lord, man. Okay. Verse 30. And thou shall love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. You see, this is the first commandment. You see, because there's a thin line between making something that is in the image of something that's heavenly and also making an image of something that will be uh, representing what you will be like. You see what I'm saying? And through, you know what I'm saying? It's like the only thing we should stand by out of the grace of the Lord is knowing that we are in a place in the house of David because the, the, the house of David is the elect. The house of David is the elect. And we are in that place. And the more we'll be able to identify that and see that is being able to purge that leaven out of our souls and in and, and us decreasing and Yahweh Shah increasing. So it ain't about us exalting an image. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure brothers ain't doing it. You know what I'm saying? But just, you know, I say on my end what I'ma do, you know what I'm saying, out of humility, just me. And any other other brother may not may not want to agree to it, but this is just me. You see what I'm saying? And I just got to make this known. All right. Um, and with all now look at this. Uh, and with all thy strength, this is the first commandment. You see what I'm saying? Because this is something spiritual. Verse uh, 31. And the second is like, namely, this: Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. You see, say all the commandments apply, but ain't none of them more greater than these. Because this is what helps to purge that leaven out of your soul. It keeps you close to that inward man and it pre and it grooms you up where, you, where your soul is being able to be converted, man. Where you'll bear witness to that true power. Not having it on later on of yourself having it. No, you have it right now. And out of out of your your way and cleaving to the faith, and where you stand that in your and out of and, and you maintaining your humility, will be the results of yourself being able to tap into that power. You see, we don't want knowledge to puff us, uh, puff puff us up. You know what I'm saying? And that's why it's important for ourselves, you know, to humble ourselves. So I'll be the first. To stand on this and give the glory to Yahweh Shah, you know what I'm saying, and the water to this uh, uh for, for this video, you know what I'm saying. The Messiah is not. It can't. It, it can't move. Is it moving? What is it doing? The person ask the person who drew this. What power is in this image? Mm-hmm. That's right. This image is false. It's, it ain't no power backed up by this image. If we made in the image of the Lord. It's, it's, look, we represent the spirit of the Lord, not an image. Mm -hmm. Look, look. A lot of you guys are going to get destroyed alone just by this. A lot of you guys are going to keep these logos on your page, talking about Kahala, Yahweh, 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 or Kakadash, and it ain't nothing in you. You ain't on that type of time. And you're not. Look. How 
How dare he says that? And, and then another thing too, remember, the scriptures even said how when he returns, we will be as he is and of ourselves not knowing what we should be like. You see what I'm saying? So these, and, and then you got to remember, the scripture said as, 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 uh, when, as he had left, you know what I'm saying? He should, when he returned, it would be the same. You see what I'm saying? But we know that we're going to be transformed. But a lot of us got to understand through the spirit, we already being transformed because the spirit of the Lord is in this place. He's living within us. That's why we're able to tap into the new covenant the way we are. You see what I'm saying? Because this is all a part of that process of um, being uh, transformed. You know what I'm saying? And so when the Lord returns, he, he's seeing who going to have that faith, man. Who lived it out? You know what I mean? Oh, that's my mechanic. But I'm going to leave it at that. I'm a, um, That was my mechanic and everything. So I'm going to get at y'all. Love y'all. Stay up. Stay blessed. Um, Shalom to y'all. Shalom. Shalom.